Baby, you guys are spoiling me. <laughs> give her this gist. I'm so surprised. Gist already. Didn't you just enter? <laughs> Boyfriend should swear. Even if he does <laughs> block one pen and six things. Even if he does do block him. Hey. I feel like it's the ultimate test before yeah, marriage. Exactly. What's happening? I think I'm not seeing things. Are you blind? <laughs> <laughs> now she's gonna go to see things. Guys, it's not up to 24 hours and hey, everywhere is bubbling. I love the energy these housemates are giving this night. First off, congratulations to Undine. They won the custodian challenge and this has given them the opportunity to gain immunity for the week. And also it has given them, you know, a leverage that's giving them the power to influence this week nomination. Okay, congratulations to them. I love, love, love it. Guys, a lot of things happened this night. First night and I am choked. Okay, I am super, super choked. After the whole uh, custodian challenge, housemates were everywhere getting to know each other. Some of them went to the kitchen area to make dinner for themselves. Some were dancing, some were just vibing, you know, just sitting here and there. Mm. Guys, oh, hey, <laughs> you see this couple, Zion and Chinwe. These two people will not stop calling each baby, 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 baby here and there. Everywhere, baby, baby this, baby that. Chinwe was cooking and the next second we are seeing them holding hands, you know, doing that. I'm like, yo... Hey, this couple is really, really going to prepare a lot of housemates, all right? Another housemate that is giving me a lot of energy that I love is Onyeka. Onyeka is doing so much. Her energy is everywhere. I love the way she's, you know, making herself known. Her voice is so bold. And I'm beginning to love the friendship that is going on between her and Tofa, okay? <laughs> There's one funny thing that happened this evening. Housemates came as pairs, okay? And it's obvious that a lot of them don't know each other yet. So Tofa came and told Onyeka, do you know that there are a couple in the house? And Onyeka was so surprised. And I really? So you mean there are a couple in the house? So they all got talking. She said, eh? Are you sure the girl will not be pregnant by now? <laughs> Because during the lockdown, for what they said, it seemed like the couples shared the room together. Okay, so Onyeka is saying, are you sure <laughs> Chingwe will not be pregnant by now? Victoria was also there with them, you know, when the conversation was going on, you know, and they got talking, you know, Victoria was saying, hmm, that it's actually really nice that there are a couple in the house that in fact, they will enjoy herself more with her partner in the lockdown and Oyeka was not like really so you mean you like the fact that there are couples in the house and she said yes so Victoria asked her can't you bring your partner to the show Oyeka said mm -mm. <laughs> she doesn't think so and she said something very funny <laughs> so you cannot bring your partner to the show <laughs> even if it's a situation of blood covenant that she's not going to bring any couple to the house she's not going to bring a partner because you know how this show is anything can happen you come to the show as partners and believing as enemies that kind of thing so she said no 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 that she's not going to do that kind of thing i'm like okay <laughs> Oyeka was so surprised, like she was blown away. She was really, really surprised. We started dating on Valentine's Day this year. You trust him now? Well, yeah, I've built a considerably good amount of trust. Another interesting conversation that happened was between Sean and Chinwe. You know, Sean was surprised about the whole couple thing also. So Sean and Chinwe got talking. Sean asked Chinwe, wow, so you guys are in a relationship. Do you trust him? Do you trust yourself? How long have you guys been together? And Chinwe was just trying to explain that, yes, to an extent, she trusts the guy and she trusts herself. She's a very loyal person in friendship or in a relationship. Basically, Sean was actually like worried for Chinwe, knowing the fact that 
this <laughs> big brother house can be somehow okay you know how these things work some people will claim they have relationship some people will claim oh they don't want to be in any ship but <laughs> before the season go off you see them you know all coupled up so sean is kind of worried that are you sure your relationship will make it to the end of the show so she was just trying to say that i trust my guy you know if he's not going to work we we'll know we've had this conversation before we came to the show and blah 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 i'm like okay okay the way this girl is just vouching for this guy it's just five months you guys met from what you guys told us it's just five months <laughs> are you they swear through to god for this guy <laughs> when it got to the time to choose their bed you know housemate chose their bed and they all decided that couples are going to share their bed together <laughs> this one are premium enjoyment for couples this one is premium show <laughs> everything is going to be going down this one couples are gonna be sharing bed i am here for the midnight you know you know you know so guys moving on you know housemates came together they you know to introduce themselves which is a normal thing guys when the housemates were introducing themselves two people actually caught my attention first was the couple like i mean the married couple the show have not even started some people are confused already during the live show our married couple told us that they've been dating for 10 years married in february blah 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 but they will conceal this whole information from the housemates they will not tell the housemates they've been married but when they were now introducing themselves the lady said they, they are best friends for five years i'm like okay <laughs> married bestie I see you and I hear you. <laughs> so the lady said, eh, we've been bestie for five years. We've been so close. We are this, we are that, blah, blah, blah. And the guy also mentioned that, oh, we are friends for five years. We've known each other for five years. And if you want to get anything from her, you have to go through me. I'm like, okay. Be friends, Be best friends. friends. Sure. If you want to go to her, come through me. I wonder how long they are going to put up this charade for. Anyway, we are here for all the drama. Another set of pair that shocked me during their introduction was the radicals. Okay, if you watch the live show, you will hear the radicals were just very loud about them being virgins. It's not easy to be virgin at 29. It's not easy to be virgin for 24 years, blah, blah, blah. But during their introduction to the housemates, they did not mention anything about being virgins. I was like, what not happened? Are you guys shy to mention the fact that you guys are virgins? Or is it just, you know? So another thing that even shocked me is when they said something like, yeah, actually like uh, like the same spec of women. We see a particular lady we like, we just ask ourselves, okay, what's up? Is it just not you want to knock or you want to take it serious? Now don't hear Ramo. Is it knack you want to knack? Or do you want to take us serious? The same people that claim they are virgins. <laughs> ah, God, I beg you. These people, housemates, are so fond of selling different kind of narrative just to get, you know, fans. Ha uh -uh, during the live show, these guys were just saying it's not easy to be 29 years old and still be a virgin. This one, that one, that one. Now, they're talking about how they used to pass women to each other. If you like this lady, okay, take her. Do you want to... Ah! <laughs> hey, guys. Ruth from the Flourish team revealed that she has a 15-year-old daughter. I'm like, what? 15-year-old daughter? Wow, that's amazing. I can see a coven forming. Guys, it seems like we are going to have some, you know gossip plug this season and onyeka seems to be like their cheerleader she's the woman leader of the show <laughs> guys tell me why onyeka is asking for gist i don't understand please if you give me gist i'm missing out show your yash now <laughs> i'm like we just arrived girl can you calm down you're asking for gist already no 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 the show started the way she even bent her neck, like straight, I'm like, hey, auntie, 
you must really, really love gossip. <laughs> I love the energy she's bringing to the show. And we are here for it. After the whole introduction, you know, housemates were still hanging around. Some are still getting to know each other more. Toby called Mayo, you know, and he was complaining, saying that it's as if some people are putting up a face, you know, some people are being fake, some people are not being genuine. For example, he thinks that Sean is just forming a sense, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, God. If somebody is forming a sense, form your own now. At least the guy said he has lived in London for a very long time. So for somebody to live in the UK for a very long time, you will definitely form an accent. So if your own accent is no grief form, try and form it. Which one is some people are putting off face and some people are not genuine. Some people are putting up a front with accent, blah, blah, blah. Hey, <laughs> voila. I am loving some housemate already, okay? I am loving their vibe. And Onyeka is one of them. Do you have any housemates you are feeling already? Trust me, this season is something else. My highlight for the night is our virgin boys. All of a sudden, now revealing to the housemate that, you know, they've knocked some people. <laughs> All of a sudden now, they are telling us that uh, if we bring ladies, we used to ask ourselves, is it for knocks or is it for just something serious? Can you imagine? Guys, this housemate will not surprise me anyways. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Do you have anybody you're beginning to like their energy? Comment down below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Do have an amazing day.